Hey guys, thanks for uh, joining us on another edition of Pro Acoustics Tech Talk. I'm Nathan. I'm Colton. And we are here today to talk to you a little bit about sound masking. What sound is masking. it? Yeah, sound masking. What is it? How's it work? What's it good for? Uh, what can it do for you? And uh, what's all this stuff? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Right, Nathan, I need you to tell me a little bit about what what sound masking is because frankly, you know, there's this huge question out there. What is it? What it actually does? What's its purpose? So, um, I, I really need to know this. So, go ahead. All right. So, sound masking is basically uh, introducing um, tuned white noise or pink noise uh, into an environment uh, for the purpose of enhancing privacy. Um, or uh, improving, um, improving privacy, allowing people to work without distractions, that kind of thing. So, so uh, sound masking itself um, by using white noise or pink noise actually is kind of like um, uh, more appropriately tuned HVAC noise. You know, it's like the air conditioner at the house. Uh, it's running in the background, you don't really notice it. All of a sudden it sh shuts off. You can hear the fish tank, you can hear the kid yeah. down the street, you can hear the apartment next to you. Uh, and it's driving you crazy. I notice that all the time. Yeah, so, <laughs> so with, with sound masking, uh, this actually introduces um, essentially noise into the room, uh, but in a way that is constant to where uh, psychoacoustically we just get used to it. We don't, yeah. we don't mind it. Uh, you, know, you just get used to it always being there, and as a result, you're, you're less prone to hear you know, the pin drop next door or be worried about what the guy in the cubicle next to you is saying. Um, or in the hospital room next to you, or that kind of thing. Yeah. So um, there's actually a couple of different ways that sound masking can work. Uh, not to get too technical, there's what's called uh, direct sound masking, which involves emitters pointing down, and then there's um, indirect sound masking, which is actually emitters or speakers pointing up uh, to where with indirect masking, the, the sound actually shoots up reflects off your uh, actual hard grid ceiling and then kind of comes back down. That's interesting. Yeah, so uh, there's pros and cons of both. Um, there is gobs of academic material about the uh, which one's best, which way you should lean, which way you shouldn't. Mm -hmm. um, we like both options because both are very practical, uh, but we wanted to share with you a little bit about you know uh, what these two options look like and how yeah. we can help implement them so uh, what manufacturers do we have here today yeah so we have Cambridge Sound Management um, and Atlas Sound uh, both of these guys have been you know working on their sound masking game for a long time now um, you know more recently Cam Cambridge Sound Management and then Atlas has been you know kind of considered the grandfathers of, of this uh, you know of this arena essentially um, so we we want to make sure you know you're you're getting the information that you need to you know make the decision, or just you know get more information on which you should go with. So um, direct sound masking, um, where we where are we kind of seeing those at? Uh, what's the what's the benefits? Like you said, there's pros and cons to each, but um, we want to make sure you know we get you the info here. Sure. So Cambridge Sound Management uh, emphasizes more the direct masking. Uh, little small emitter. Uh, this goes into your uh, drop tile. Uh, basically, you just got a, a little collar. You drill a hole in your acoustic tile, pop this guy in place, tighten it up, picture your tile in between the uh, emitter here, and you've just got this little tiny uh, guy generating white noise or pink noise. Uh, what does white noise or pink noise sound like? Once again, like HVAC or uh, yep. like your air conditioning, just a nice little shh. Yep. noise that it's over like time is, is going to blend into the background. Your employees, your, uh, your staff, um, your patients, your customers, they're not going to notice uh, that it's going on in the background. They're just going to basically uh, not have to be sitting in completely silent, quiet rooms just being disturbed by every little thing. Yeah, uh, so this is the uh, QT emitter. One of these covers about a uh, 10 by 10 area, 100 square feet. Uh, as Colton's pointing out, it comes in four packs, packs of four. So you can do 400 square feet of coverage at a time, uh, wherever you need it. And then uh, 
Install on those couldn't be easier. Like I said, it comes with the hole saw. You uh, drill a hole in your tile. If you have other kinds of ceilings, you know, uh, open ceiling, there is a pendant kit. There's beam clamps to fasten to your open grid beams. Um, there's also a universal bracket for uh, surface mounting it. And then you do uh, have a lot of options on cabling. Cabling couldn't be easier. These do come with uh, uh, cat category three network cables, just RJ45 cables. That's basically a cat five cable for the uh, less, uh, less schooled yeah. in, the, in the different kinds of network cabling. Comes with cables and it hooks up to your generator here that mounts onto your wall. Uh, plugs into an outlet, mounts on your wall, and then you just set the level and the volume control on the QT100 here Piece for all cake. your emitters. Uh, IT guy can handle that kind of thing. Um, we can walk you through all the steps and how it goes together. Uh, and then if a QT100 um, doesn't quite give you all the features that you need, which we can help with that conversation, it also has some big brothers, the QT300 and the QT600 that we can tell you all about. Very um, cool. And you said indirect sound masking. Usually, do we see, you know, you know, physically see it compared to, you know, in the ceiling with Cambridge? Um, you said normally they shoot up. So what does that kind of involve? Are they, um, you know, open ceilings? It's firing upwards, but like ceiling tile. How does that work? How do you, yeah. how do you kind of uh, get around that? Right. That Good. obstacle. Great question. So yeah, the this big black box here is the indirect uh, emitter which basically is a 70 volt speaker firing up. So uh, you might have been in many sky rise buildings that have these types of systems and never known it because you don't see it. This goes above the tile. Uh, it can be used in uh, open ceiling environments, basically uh, hangs from these points with, a, ch with a, cr a cradle or a chain and that hangs from the ceiling. And then it's a conventional 70 volt system from there. You just got your positive lead and your negative lead and then you've got your 70 volt transformer tap here. Once again, if any of those details overwhelm you, don't worry, we can help walk you through how that aspect of it works. But what's nice with this is because it's shooting up, it's gonna cover a wider area. So okay. we're gonna get a lot sense. more coverage space out of um, this type of emitter than we are with the Cambridge. Uh, the downside is because it's covering a wider area, sometimes it has hot and cold spots, so it's more important to make sure and have it designed for you uh, professionally, uh, but because there's more, fewer of these required for a larger space, um, you can many times use fewer emitters and they also are a little bit lower cost. Mm -hmm. uh, but once again, like I started off, there's pros and cons of both. Exactly. We can walk you through those pros and cons and we can also help design a system for you uh, with either direct or indirect masking. With indirect masking, you are going to need an amplifier uh, as well as a signal generator. Once again, this is a 70 volt system. Um, so basically, like in this case, we have the Atlas TSD GPN 1200. Mm -hmm. That is a sound masking generator. Also has a four watt amplifier built in. So that's what the, the white noise and pink noise, it, it generates it essentially? Yep, you got it. it the signal comes out of this okay. to where it can hook up to a bigger amplifier, or this can power, uh, I would say, up to eight max of these. Uh, so very basic system packages that are easy to use that we can help uh, walk you through as far as utilizing uh, indirect masking. And once again, if you have questions about how we can design something along these lines for your application, reach out to us. Nathan at ProAcoustics.com. Colton at ProAcoustics.com. Uh, or reach out to us on the 800 number, 888-256-4112. That's www.ProAcousticsUSA.com. Mm -hmm. once, okay. once again, if you like what you see here, give us a like, yep. let us know you're watching. Yep. Um, and then uh, be sure to reach out if we can help with anything further. Thank you for watching. Take care.